In 2011, a 90 second video launched Ted Williams, a man who was experiencing homelessness, as an international celebrity. He was an unwanted homeless person who asked for help on the side of the road, but now he is known in every corner of the world, he signs autographs, he is invited for interviews, he is a successful person and earns several million dollars a year. Everyone loves a good redemption story. Pulp Fiction? Gran Torino? Heck, even Groundhog Day. But what people love more than a redemption story is a real-life redemption story, and there really isn't a better one than Ted Williams, aka the man with the golden voice. Back in 2011, Williams was living on the streets of Columbus, Ohio when a video of him doing his radio announcer voice, first posted by the Columbus Dispatch, went viral. I'm gonna make you work for your dollar, say something with that great radio voice. When you're listening to nothing but the best of oldies, you're listening to Magic 98.9. Thank you so much, God bless you, thank you. And we'll be back with more right after these words. <laughs> and don't forget, tomorrow morning is your chance to win a pair of tickets to see this man live in concert. He was an almost instant success, garnering serious voice over gigs and TV appearances, making amends with his estranged family, and finally getting a home of his own. Ted Williams was propelled into the spotlight in 2011 Doral Chenoweth, a photojournalist with the Columbus Dispatch, a daily newspaper based in Ohio, took the video. Doral was driving down the street in his car and saw Ted with an inscription on a sign he was holding, I have a God-given gift of voice, please help me. Doral stopped and decided to listen to this miracle voice and since then Ted's life has completely changed the video's millions of views led to national television appearances and earned Williams numerous voiceover jobs. In the years since he first got his nickname, the man with the golden voice rose to the top, but what has he been up to since? From NBC News, this is Today with Matt Lauer and Meredith Vieira. Live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. Would you like to come to Hollywood? I certainly would. Please welcome to our show, Ted Williams. One and only Ted Williams. Right now, I've got goosebumps in the studio with us. Welcome, Ted Williams. <laughs> From the lonely streets of Columbus, Ohio, and abject poverty. Say something with that great radio voice. When you're listening to nothing but the best of oldies, you're... Ted gave an interview in which he spoke about his difficult life. Ted Williams didn't start out homeless. In fact, Williams worked as a successful radio announcer. As he told the Columbus Dispatch, he fell in love with radio when he was a 14-year-old kid in Brooklyn on a school field trip. Williams spent years developing his golden voice, even going to school for radio, as he wanted to be a part of the entertainment world but didn't think he had the face for TV. However, then Williams started drinking a fifth of liquor every day, and as he told today, he started snorting cocaine and then he started smoking it, the crack and all of that. Williams lost his job and his home in Columbus, Ohio and began bouncing around shelters. He even turned to crime to fuel his drug habit, because of what soon ended up on the street, he lost everything at that moment, but his voice, he stayed with him, and it was he who helped him get out of this hole. The video of Williams and his golden voice went viral, garnering millions of views in just one day. It wasn't long after that job offer started pouring in, announcing for the Cleveland Cavaliers, the National Football League's film production division, and a few local Ohio news stations. Ted Williams surprised many people when in 2015, he announced he'd be running in the 2016 presidential election as an independent candidate. Williams first announced his presidential dreams on the Now radio show on WWGHF FM radio in Marion, but reaffirmed his election bid in an interview with USA Today. As he told the Columbus Dispatch, Ted Williams had almost always wanted to work in radio. That's why, after a long journey of highs and very low lows, Williams was overjoyed to get back on the airwaves in 2016. In an update on his life also done by the Columbus Dispatch, fans learned that the man with the golden voice got a gig co-hosting a radio show on WVKOM's The Praise radio station. His show, titled The Golden Voice Show, was a bit talk radio and a bit gospel music. From achieving his childhood dream of becoming a radio DJ to losing it all to drugs and homelessness, and then winning it all back just to lose it again, no one can argue that Ted Williams hasn't lived one heck of a life. But does he regret it? When the man with the Golden Voice appeared on the Tamron Hall show in 2021, Hall asked him, do you wish that you'd never gone viral? Williams replied, at times I do. Who can blame him? With fame and fortune come a lot of other problems, like the fact that, as he also revealed during that interview, that Williams is once again homeless. However, just because Williams might have regrets in dark moments doesn't mean he's not grateful. Williams has said again and again how thankful he is for his blessings and how he could never have imagined the way things turned out. Notably he'd previously told NBC News, when I was homeless, I didn't think anything of getting a blessing of this magnitude. Today, Ted is a happy man, 
he has the prestigious job that he always dreamed of, housing, and he no longer needs to ask for help from passersby. Ted has reconnected with his family, now he has nine children, seven daughters and two sons, such an incredible story of a man with a golden voice. He founded a charitable foundation, which he named after himself. The foundation helps talented people who need material and emotional support. This story touched me very much, how a person can change his life following his talents, as a person who received everything, money, fame, remained a simple person and began to help people who need help. This is such an incredible and touching story. Thank you for watching, I will be very grateful to you if you subscribe to the channel and put a bell on all notifications, we will meet in the next videos, bye everyone. New crap. <laughs> I apologize. It's, it's been so long since I've done this type of work.